This is All India Radio Shillong, the North East News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. As India created history by administering more than 100 crore doses of vaccine against COVID-19, All India Radio salutes all the doctors, nurses, other frontline workers, and all those who got vaccinated and made this possible. Even though the country has achieved this feat, we caution our listeners that the battle against COVID is not yet over. We appeal to our listeners to get fully vaccinated at the earliest and also help others get vaccinated. During the festival season, please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain dogas ki duri for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 011-2397-1075. And the helpline for Meghala is 108 and 1070. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will arrive at Infal this morning and he will inaugurate 13 projects worth around Rs. 1,850 crores and also lay the foundation stone of 9 projects worth around Rs. 2,950. The inaugural and foundation laying program will be held at Imphal where Chief Minister M. Biren Singh and other union ministers are expected to attend. The inaugural and foundation laying program will be held at Hatta Kang Jaibung in Imphal where he will also address a public gathering. Among the projects which will be inaugurated by the Prime Minister this morning includes the refurnished and renovated of Govindaji Temple at Imphal, Indian National Army Complex at Moirang, Integrated Command and Control Center, Development of Western River Front of Imphal River Phase 1, and Development of Mall Road at Thangal Bazaar Phase 1. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will also visit Tripura today. At around 2 p.m. in Agartala, Prime Minister will inaugurate the new integrated terminal building at Maharaja Birbikram Airport and will also launch two key development initiatives. The new building on Maharaja Birbikram Airport, built at a cost of about 450 crore rupees, is a state-of-art building spread over 30,000 square meters, having modern facilities and supported by the latest IT network integrated system. The development of the new building is an effort in line with the Prime Minister's endeavor to provide modern facilities in all airports across the country. Union Minister for Ports, Shipping and Waterways, Sabananda Sonowal, yesterday announced that the contract has been awarded for Haldia Inland Waterway Terminal and the jetty will be soon operational for sending Exim and Inland Cargo to Pandu Terminal in Guwahati, connecting the Northeast with Kolkata through National Waterway 2. Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterway said this will provide an alternative to chicken neck route for easy and cost-effective movement of cargo to and fro northeast to the foreign countries and other states of India. Taking precautionary measures against the spread of the Omicron variant of COVID-19, Nighala Chief Minister Conrad Sangma yesterday informed that the state government has decided to impose restrictions on gatherings. Addressing a press conference, he said there will be restrictions on private vehicles also and the government will now implement the odd-even system. The restrictions will start from January 5th. The Chief Minister also informed that curfew will be imposed at 10 p.m. in Shillong City while the respective deputy commissioners are being authorized to look into their respective districts. As for those entering the state of Meghale, the Chief Minister said a 72-hour COVID test should be done apart from double vaccination. Meghale Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong yesterday launched the COVID vaccination drive for the age group of 15 to 18 years at Rinja State Dispensary in Shillong. Speaking to media persons, he requested parents to get their wards vaccinated. He further informed that dedicated centers are being created in every primary health centers, community health centers for the vaccination drive. He added that the government is focusing on the age group of 15 to 18 years that makes up more or less 2.6 lakh population in Meghale. A 17-year-old who got vaccinated, Aroma Karsintiu, encouraged fellow youngsters to get themselves vaccinated as it is safe. 
And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio Shillong. Have a nice day.